What's going on everybody? Chris from Out West with Chris. And I am in Redding, California. I'm up here for the second annual Shasta Kayak Bass Classic. It's a two day fishing tournament up on Shasta Lake. And I'm headed to the captain's meeting. Should be an interesting little tournament. I am, um, I've never fished Shasta before. So should be an interesting little tournament. Um, looking forward to just the fellowship you know, hanging out with people, meeting people, and getting out on the water, so. This is Dean, my co-host of the Yak Tactics Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, What's up, Mason? Say hi. Hi. We're famous right now. Yeah. Hey, do we have a side pot for biggest fish or biggest trout or? We could do a three-person side three pot. Way? Yeah. Three way. I'm into three ways. 20 bucks? 20 bucks sounds good. Well, I'll just give you 20 bucks now. We've checked in, we've got our little swag bag thingy, my bobber. And uh, we're gonna head out to the resort so we can tie a bunch of knots. What's up? been paddling for about an hour maybe 40 minutes something like that not really where I want to go but I'm seeing some stuff that I want to fish so I'm gonna go ahead and hit this right now and uh, hopefully we can get on some fish this is my first time ever fishing this lake and uh, I don't do a lot of fishing on lakes like this, so I'm uh, kind of interested in seeing how I do. The visibility is about 20 feet, so it's super clear right now. And I don't fish super clear water very often. <laughs> so this is all new. Damn it. Come on. Got our first fish. It doesn't feel very big. Oh, not bad. Oh, good to be on the board. So just a quick little update, um, it's probably about 10.30 right now, I've only caught one fish. Um, it's been kind of slow for me, um, checked in with my buddy Dean and it sounds like they're catching fish where they're at but nothing huge. So I'm just going to keep plugging away at it, um, changing some stuff up, going to try a couple different things and you know, see what happens. But. At this point, my audio decided to cut out on my GoPro footage. Um, I hooked into a, a pretty decent fish. It was actually my best fish of this day. And I was drop shotting a four inch swim bait, a deuce swim bait from Biwa. And this was a, a pretty good fish, hit hard. And it, it definitely helped me in the tournament. It was about 15 inches once I got it measured. And a beautiful little fish. It actually spit up a shad, you can see right there, um, or some other small bait fish. So it was active. 
So this guy's been eating, he's pretty healthy. Um, 15 inches is what he came in at. So um, let's put him in the net, make sure he can get the upload done correctly. Let's get a release on this guy. There he goes. Whew, my hat came off. This is right where I caught that other one, so I'm gonna I'm gonna fish this for a little bit. See what happens. Alright, so I might actually have a chance at a limit. <laughs> Once I catch a limit, um, you know, it's all about just upgrading at that point. So pretty pleased with that fish. It would take a few more of those that size. Um, if I could catch some bigger, that would be awesome as well. But uh, right now, I just want to get, get that limit and then uh, see where we can go from there. That's my second fish of the day. Um, I've had a couple bites over here. Two fish landed from this area. So I'm going to kind of See if I can stick it out a little bit. See what happens. Just got a bite. There we He's a little guy. Right of the jaw. He's a little dude. Let him go. Let's see if we can get something bigger than that. He was uh, 12 and a quarter. But uh, a couple fish right here in the last couple minutes. I think I will take that. And we'll build on it. So I got my limit now. Let's just cull some fish. My goal for this tournament is not to get first. I mean, that would be awesome, but I'm kind of a realist at the same time. Um, you know, my goal is to, to finish in the top 30%. Honestly, I don't think um, if, if this is all I have to show for today, by the end of today, I don't think it's gonna cut it. So um, I'm gonna have to keep fishing. I don't have a whole a lot of time left. It's 12.16, so I'm gonna fish here for about 15 more minutes, and then I'm gonna slowly work my way back. I have to be back to the launch ramp at about three, so um, I wanna be back a little bit before then just to give myself enough time. Um, I know it seems like three hours should be enough, but there's actually quite a bit of ground between where I am and the launch ramp. Um, for paddling, something I have to take into consideration. That's a fish. It looks okay, too. Oh, dang. He spit it out. Son of a... Okay, so picked him up on a TRD. He was hitting it too, he was pop, pop. Um, he should help. So let's get situated and get him measured. He's got sharp little teeth, that guy. Yeah, he will help. Go back home. That one culled out an inch and a quarter, so that's perfect. Okay, we got another fish. Ooh, this one looks decent. Oh, okay, come on now.
that was a fail. That was a total net fail. <laughs> totally a net fail. Starting to catch them now. These spotted bass, man, they fight like big fish, that's for sure. That coal's a quarter of an inch for me. Sunday morning out of Shasta and uh, everybody's launched pretty much get ready to jump in um, it was just the 715 was our lines in the water time so not sure my strategy for today just want to catch uh, a couple fish and ideally if I can move up from where I'm at uh, that would be a victory for me uh, Just coming out here and fishing this tournament um, And fishing this lake for the first time was um, you know, just a fun event. So um, I've learned a lot already about Shasta. It's a tough little lake So let me get after it get out there fish a little bit and we'll see where we end up He's not ready to throw the HUD yet. What's that? I said you're not ready yet to throw the HUD. I net flipped him. <laughs> he was right below me. I saw him on the chart. I just let the jig go right, or the the net right below me. Sorry, I kind of eked in on your area. This is gonna win it for me. <laughs> Wait. Really? It's a good spot. First fish of the day. Little guy. Do they have to be 12? Yeah. <laughs> <It's not. laughs> <No>. <laughs> Wait. I think I can get exactly 12. It has to have its mouth closed, Chris. I know, I'm closing its mouth and looking. Like touching the line. Try it. Let the judge decide. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's drop them in. Oh. <laughs> At least it didn't take me like 
two hours, three hours to catch my first fish, right? What are you, are you, what are you throwing? Are you really throwing the hug? <laughs> Let's see if they approved it. <laughs> uh, it's approved. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These damn geese are fighting. What's going on, guys? Pretty good. Well, I caught one about 40 minutes ago. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're picky. Well, we're gonna make a move to the other side of the lake. Uh, haven't had much luck over here, so gonna move. <sighs> so it's 11. Gotta be back at the ramp at, and checked in at 2.30. <sighs> Changed out, um, going a whole different direction. Got a swim bait and um, a jerk bait. And I don't know, we'll see if we can get any fish's attention. I'm, I'm having a hard time finding them right now, but still having a fun time out here. Um, it's always good to be out fishing. I just saw a huge spot of bass. Just swimming around. I cast it at it and he totally ignored. He didn't spook, just totally ignored what I had to offer. Well, that's it. I'm heading back to the to the launch. It's right over there. Gotta have my identifier in here in a little bit, so. Gonna go do that and load everything up. Man, bummer. But uh, still, great time up here. What's going on guys? I am driving home. I'm all loaded up and headed back to the Bay Area. Now yesterday after I got off the water, handed in my identifier, um, I made the check-in time and all that stuff. Uh, went, took shower, cause you know, I was stanky. And then Dean Mason and I went over to the awards ceremony and I forgot my GoPro. So I didn't record any of that footage. Uh, the awards ceremony was awesome. They had a huge raffle. Unfortunately, I didn't win anything in the raffle, uh, but a bunch of folks walked away with some really cool prizes in the raffle. And they listed off the, the winners, um, the guy who won, was totally gracious. Uh, his name is Obedee Williams. He's a really well-known fisherman, not necessarily a kayak fisherman, but well-known fisherman in the Sacramento region, the California Delta region. And uh, he's starting to get into kayak fishing. So, uh, you know, I thought that was pretty cool. He was extremely thrilled. Um, they raffled off a Hobie compass, um, all that good stuff. And, and it was just a really cool event. Uh, the folks at Heroes on the Water, Redding, um, Headwaters Adventure Sports and Redding, and everybody who worked to put together the Shasta Bass Classic did a great job. It was a, a really cool event. I ended up finishing around 51st. Um, if, you know, not catching a limit that second day really killed me. And I didn't think that I would be finishing in a money spot. Um, I was hoping to finish in the top third. Uh, for my first time ever fishing Shasta, I feel like I learned a lot. Really would have hoped to have caught a limit that second day. Um, but it just wasn't in the cards for me. I, I didn't realize that the fish were deeper than they were. Um, so I screwed up. That was my fault. Met some really cool people. And it was just a, a good event. It was a lot of fun. Well run. And all the proceeds go to the Reading chapter of Heroes on the Water. And, you know, I'm a big fan of Heroes on the Water. They do some great stuff. So uh, that's that's really awesome. Thank you guys, as always, for watching this video. Really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I don't know if I'm going to head up to Shasta anytime soon. Um, now I know a little bit more about it. But I don't know. That place was uh, kind of brutal, especially in a paddle kayak. But regardless, check out some of my other fishing videos. And as always, thanks for watching. And thanks for getting out west with Chris.